Hello, welcome to Cataclysm Quick Tips number 5. We're going to discuss reach attacks and why they are so helpful, especially early game. So when you begin playing Cataclysm, you'll find uh, pretty obviously that one of the biggest dangers is bite wounds that become infected and then kill you. One of the best ways to avoid getting bitten is to not get hit at all. So to do that, an important tool to use is the reach attack that certain weapons have that allows you to strike them from more than one space away. This lets you kill them without them getting close enough to bite. So very important, and here's what I mean. We're going to look at our inventory, in particular the weapon in my hands, which is the knife spear. And when we look at the details for the knife spear, you can see here an attribute called reach attacks. This allows it to hit zombies or monsters two spaces away from himself. Another example is a little bit of a higher end weapon that's a harder to find, but it's called the all pike. And this has long reach attacks. That actually allows you to hit three spaces away. Very, very powerful ability. Does huge damage, but it's also very slow to swing. So just be aware of that if you do try to use this weapon. It can be very powerful in the right hands with right skills and such. Uh, but it is pretty slow. But that long reach attack is a big benefit. Well, here's how you do this. So I've got three zombies just north of me. They're going to try to come down and bite me, as zombies tend to do. I'm going to try to avoid that and try to stab them all to death with the reach attack ability of my spear. So I'm going to be combining the reach attack with my running in order to stay ahead of them and just constantly stab them while I move. This is called kiting, and it's a very, very important tool to learn how to use in the game to improve your survivability. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is switch on run mode and I'm just going to start moving to the right. I want to line these guys up a little bit more conveniently so they're coming at me one at a time. All right, now I'm going to let him move within two spaces and you can either hit the tab key and it'll automatically try to stab him or more specifically you can hit the F key, F as in Frank, and that allows you to pick your ranged target. You can see here he's range two out of a possible two and there's only one target in range. That's why the tab key was automatically hitting him. And then I'm just going to hit the key to say go, and it missed him that time. I'm going to back up a few, stab, and I'm basically just going to keep backing up and swinging as I travel. And I'm going to move in kind of a circle motion, so I don't want to back up into new zombies. So I'm going to do a bit of a circling motion here. I do want to keep hitting the same zombie each time, if possible, to focus the damage and drop them as quickly as possible. There we go. And I'm starting to run out of stamina, so I do have to be a little careful here. Oops, a little closer. There we go. And there we are. All right, three zombies down. They didn't get a single hit in on me, which is ideal. That's the way you can deal with zombies with reach attacks and the running mode so that you don't get bites. Hope you found the information helpful. Stay safe out there and have a good apocalypse. Bye-bye.